Let's play Sonic the Hedgehog for fun, part 22. We did it. We got out of Dusty Desert. Yeah. Well, Silver's been having these uh, second thoughts about killing the Iblish trigger. He feels pretty bad about, you know, is it the right thing to kill Sonic? Should he kill Sonic? And he's feeling very, um, very conflicted about it. Is it right to kill a person to save the world, basically? So, Blaze told him he's a naive shit. I'm giving you the gist of the previous cutscene because I actually had so much trouble with sound sync in the last episode. You probably noticed it. Video recordings were just getting out of sync ridiculously. I'm just checking for side missions first before we head off to White Acropolis because being White Acropolis it's gonna suck. Yeah, I know, I see there's a side mission there. I'm just checking here as well. Nothing. Okay. I'm being efficient. Okay, what do you want? You obviously seem a bit skittish and upset. Oh no, a lot of weird monsters came to Castletown and attacking everywhere. Help. Weird monsters? Are we going to have some unexplained Iblis monsters? Ah, she looks really frightened. Yeah, we've got the, uh, the Iblis monsters, or I believe these are the Solaris versions if they're uh, bright pink. Don't worry, it'll all get explained eventually. But yeah, there's a difference between Iblis and Solaris, and they're different things that do different stuff. And and I've got very little to actually throw about. I take it the unwritten rule of this bit is that I can't let um, the townsfolk get injured. I suppose is the unwritten rule of this section. They're the stars on the map. You leave them alone! Sometimes I wonder if these people want to be killed by monsters, because they sure seem adamant in getting in the way. Oh, and I was doing so well! Well, I've lost any sort of bonus I'll get from rings. Oh, my stun move decides when and where it's going to work. No comment. Anybody else requiring my assistance? Oh, um, I also bought a move from the shop that allows me to do that. Okay, White Acropolis. Alright, we're playing as not Sonic first. Oh, and no stupid snowboard to be seen. This is more like it. It's silly when a character other than Sonic plays more like Sonic. Thank you. You need to defeat all the enemies. You need to? Why are you telling me that I need to defeat them all if it's you walking around the level? That is confusing, Blaze. So confusing. You know what, I think, I think I can sum it up actually, why physics in a platformer is a bad idea. Okay, hear me out, right? 
platformers, games specifically like Sonic the Hedgehog and the like, right? They're all about getting good at a game and getting familiar at a game. But physics provide this very, um, this very difficult to predict nature that games like Sonic shouldn't really have. Like, these glitches do it and um, the physics do it. That's the problem. The fact that you can't properly predict and you can't really plan for the physics. hoping we'd still get to play as Blaze, who's better than Silver in practically every way. <laughs> that is fun. As is this as well. Any medals? This move is incredibly useful, though. Basically allows you to weaponize any enemy. Okay. This is what I mean about, like, the physics and the objects being able to be, like, destroyed and knocked over. Is there's a certain element of chaos. You can't predict and plan around it. And I think that's one of the things that really hinders Sonic 06. Is that you just can't approach it with that same methodical method you can with other platformers. I mean, like, you can injure enemies with snowballs that you just push at them. Of course, the correct way to take these enemies out is to do that. You should take that one out and take them all out. But what else? Silver seems to be walking slow. There we go. It's a bit better. As per usual, I'm lost in a silver level. Because they don't explain where you gotta go. Why are those rings slightly in the ground? Someone didn't read the level design memo! Oh, come on! I was holding down my psychic power to pick things up! I know I was. A spring, that's got to be the answer. No. Okay. That's not how you do it. These guys don't throw anything at you that you can use. No missiles or anything? Oh, really? What? Come on, it's just a f snowball! <laughs> really starting to get sick of this game now. Just. No. Looks like we've arrived a little too late. What? Oh no! Oh no, 
defeats the eggs at Genesis. Oh, come on! How am I meant to dodge that if I can't f dodge it, you f Anything. What is your problem? Why don't they aim at the boss? Why can't I collect my f rings? How can you get far enough away? You can't. I'm running with all my might. I am running at maximum run speed, and I can't. I can't survive this. I can't survive this. It's not possible. How did that work? Whatever. I'm not gonna look a gift horse in the mouth. Let's just wait for it to pretend to crash on me and then have it crash on me and have to do the whole boss battle over again. Oh. <sighs> Yeah, shut up your ass, you f***ing cunt. I f***ing hate you, I f***ing hate this game. It's a load of f***ing cunt, scab, shit, f***ing cunt, shit, v***. That's a chaos emerald. It said this gem can transform your thoughts into power. Collect seven, and a miracle's supposed to happen. Keep it as a lucky charm. It transforms your thoughts into power. I've been trying to find Sonic, but now I think I'm in trouble. Maybe I should just walk away real quietly before they spot me. Oh. Prisoner has escaped from cell block C-17. All patrolling guards, begin searching immediately. I repeat, prisoner oh, okay. has escaped from cell block C-17. Thank you so much for rescuing me. I am so grateful. I'm Amy. Amy Rose. My name is Elise. Elise? Wait, you're not Elise, the Princess of Soliana, are you? I'll bet someone's already on their way to rescue you. Um, yes. But someone I know said to me, nothing starts until you take action. So I decided to heed his advice. Hmm. You wouldn't happen to have some feelings for this person, would you? What? No, of course It's not. okay. Love changes everything. It feels like every little moment in your life is huge, doesn't it? So, what does this guy look like? Have you already been on a date with him? Well, no, I, I really haven't. A one-way love? That's so cute. Come on, there's no need to be shy. Look, you're a princess and you're super cute. That guy's the lucky one. I also have someone that I'm pursuing, too. I wish us both luck. <laughs> I was hoping I could stop recording and go grab a cup of tea or something, but this game just loves to throw extra things at you when you want to just quit and save. Just stop making noise, Amy. Just stop speaking. I mean, I love you, Leah, but your voice gets really annoying after a while. Not to mention, they really nerfed her hammer in this game. Made her so weak.
Amy just isn't the same fun she was in Sonic Adventure. She's just not. She didn't have to wait for like 10 minutes for the enemy to stop defending. Oh, at least we uh, got an S rank. the icing on the cake, I suppose. I've been waiting so patiently for you to return, Princess. Mephilus. Tell me, who is the Iblis Trigger? Why does he want to destroy the world? Why does that matter to you? Unless you complete your task, your future will remain the same. Forever. He's currently at the terminal station. It's now or never if you want this. <laughs> <laughs> 